Okay, uh, so a quick little uh, lesson on this. If we are trying to find the four fourth roots of 6 plus 4i in polar form, uh, the, also showing you the benefits of uh, RPN, if we're looking for, uh, let's say, 4, I can enter my 4. If I hit enter again, I get another copy of the 4. Then I hit times to get the 16. And I need 6 squared, so I'm going to do 6, enter. Enter to get another copy of it. Hit times to multiply the 6 and the 6 to get 36. Now I need to add those, so I hit plus. I need the square root of that, so I hit the square root key. Wow. And it automatically simplifies it. Now because we're going to be doing things in decimal, I'm going to convert this to a decimal number. And so there's my 7.21, which is my uh, magnitude. <clears throat> now to get the angle, I need the opposite, which is 4. And the adjacent, which is 6. So I need to do opposite over adjacent. So 4 and 6, I need to divide those. So divide. And automatically reduce that as I go. That's one of the reasons I like is it shows you every answer as you go. So then I'm going to take the inverse tangent of that, arc tangent, that's what ATAN stands for, and convert to a decimal. So there's my 33. So now I need, so, so the, we to apply the fourth, so what this means is 7.21 cis 33.69 degrees. So to apply to Mauver's theorem of taking the fourth root, I need to divide my angle by four. So I'm going to do four, enter, and divide. So there's my angle of 8.42 degrees. Now, I need the fourth root of 7.21. So I'm going to swap the order of those so that I have the 7.21 on the bottom. Oh. I need the fourth root, so I'm going to enter four. And uh, show, show this button right here. Can you move it down a little bit? So you see this button right here. This button that is normally square root right above it here has I have a large finger. Uh, is the x x root of y. So that's going to be the x root of y. So I'm going to do that button that's going to do the fourth root of 7.21 and there's my All right. So now I've, so I've got my 1.64 at cis 8.42 degrees. And so if I want to convert that back to uh, back to that's polar. If I need to convert that to rectangular I need to uh, do this. Let's see. All right. Let me let's uh, let's come up here. Let's now let's work with the angle for a second. So I'm going to swap that uh, swap that the order so that my 8.42 is on the bottom again. And I I know I'm going to need to do it use it twice. So I'm going to press Enter to get another copy of that same big decimal. And now I'm the my real coordinate, my x-coordinate, is, uh, is the 1.64 times the cosine of the 8.42. So I've got 8.42, so I'm just hit cosine. Boom. And now I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to echo that the 1.64. Enter. And now I have a copy of that 1.64 that I can then multiply by the cosine of that one. So there's my real value of 1.62. And I can write that down and then delete that one. And here's my angle again. Now I need the sine of that number times the 1.64. I can just hit times, and there's that.